nothing new. Back at the same place. Um, looks the same, same location as I remember uh, growing up. Uh, we on the other side. I think it's Hawksworth uh, Center. That's across the street from the main entrance. You know, normally where we go um, to the Barrick Center, I think that's what it's called, University Hospital down in Cincinnati. Um, I mean, sometimes it's tough, you know, coming to visit, seeing her, um, and seeing what they have to do to her and things that she has to go through. Um, the machines, you hear the noises, the wires hooked all over her body, ports, blood drawn. Um, I mean, in and out, not all the way there mentally, consciousness. It's tough for, I know me, seeing her that way. And uh, we, we just gotta figure out something. Hello everyone, my name is Kerwin Williams and I wanna thank Spencer for allowing me this opportunity to speak to you guys about sickle cell. Sickle cell is a disease that affects multiple communities throughout the United States. For me personally, seeing my mother who has fought that internal battle against pain on the daily has inspired me to push myself past my limits to accomplish my goals. It's also inspired me to advocate for others who fight that internal battle daily. A few things that have helped me are educating myself on the disease and how to best assist in those times of pain, zoning in on what works best for my loved one, and three, staying disciplined to that plan of support. Knowing that they aren't alone in this battle is very key for your loved one. I wanna thank you guys for your time today and hopefully this information helps. Hi, my name is Spencer Ware and I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio. I'm an artist professional athlete and entrepreneur. I also play the drums in my spare time. I'm my mother's oldest child, so I had to be strong. I remember long nights coming from the hospital. My mother would say, you're gonna be a star. From the outside in, you would have thought that I had it all. Being a descendant from the legendary music group Zapp and Roger Trotman. Being raised in the church, so God is on my side. Being a two-sport All-American in high school and MLB prospects for more than 10 teams at the age of 17. Drafted by the Seattle Seahawks, winning two Super Bowls, playing with Patrick Mahomes, online boutiques, real estate, a wife, three children, oh Lord. But all I ever wanted was to be able to share these experiences and all these things with the woman who was responsible for bringing me into this world. Mom Dukes. Mom Dukes. Mom Dukes. Sickle cell anemia took that away from me. She would rock back and forth when she's in pain and tell me that everything is fine. I would see my mom high on medication. People without sickle cell disease or don't know anything about it would think that she is a drug addict. Nurses and even doctors too. Couldn't work because of the chance of being hospitalized for days, weeks, or even months at a time. But she made sure I had everything growing up. We did the best that we could. and is destroying my mother's mind and her body and my life and my life I know I can't be the only one yeah yeah as the oldest of my mother's three children, we all handled it very differently. But for me, 
It was my responsibility to be strong for all of them, physically, mentally, and spiritually. I knew one day that I'll make a difference. I founded the Sickle Cell Awareness Foundation, 501c3 nonprofit in 2017. As a foundation, our goal is to educate the sickle cell community on healthy living habits, educate the sickle cell community with coping skills to handle stress and anxiety, educate the sickle cell community and others about the sickle cell disease and if someone they love is affected. Finding a cure by teaming up with doctors around the world. We want to be the backbone for the sickle cell community. Making memorable moments other than hospital visits on the calendar. By engaging, we encourage our sickle cell community to want to make the best of life. 2021, our foundation's goal and focus is on the mental wellness of our sickle cell community, mainly our people with sickle cell disease. We plan to send families to holistic healing retreats for total body wellness and provide valuable resources like counseling and chances to talk with some of the world's greatest healers. We promote awareness and unity to bring awareness to all things in this world that gets overlooked. We highly recommend you get tested for the sickle cell disease trait and disease if you are not aware. That's for all ages, race and ethnicities. Someone you love may be affected. I want to make sure that I made an impact on the world. But first, I had to understand that I had to build you guys' trust. 42% of people don't trust charities. So to make sure that I was doing my part in every aspect, I founded a new project that's government funded so that it assures to all proceeds are able to secure and support the sickle cell community. YL Empowerment Zone, a vocational rehabilitation training services program. At the Empowerment Zone, we provide training services to help place people with disabilities into secure jobs. This allows them to be able to contribute to society in the workforce. By doing so, we allow all not to be limited because of uncontrollable circumstances. We can all relate. Donations can be made Take a picture of the barcode placed on you guys' table or visit the website at www.scawareness.org. Visit our blogs, newsletters for updates, and more info about sickle cell disease and the Sickle Cell Awareness Foundation. Follow all social networks. We wouldn't be here without our main sponsorships of the night. We thank you. You never know how you can impact the world we live in. Yes, love. Enjoy your night.